Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Master. Tiles are usually thin, square or rectangular in shape, manufactured from hard materials such as ceramic, stone, metal, baked clay or even glass. They are generally arranged in rows to cover roof, floor, walls and so on. Tiles are versatile material which is used for residential as well as commercial purposes. In this video, let's take 10 feet by 10 feet room, calculate the quantity of materials and estimate the cost for that. So let's consider 10 feet by 10 feet room and let's see how much materials are required such as how much cement quantity we need, how much sand quantity we need and how much tiles quantity we need to fix the floor tiles for the 10 feet by 10 feet room. And also let's discuss how much thickness, mortar thickness we need to use to fix the floor tiles and what is the mortar ratio and what is the filler material joint material we are going to use between tiles and what is the labor cost everything we will discuss in detail in this video so without any delay let's begin so first let me tell you what and all we are going to calculate in this video so let's take this 10 by 10 room so this is the floor tile so this is what we are going to discuss so how much quantity materials are required and how to calculate the quantity of materials. So first we are going to calculate the floor tile quantity which is this one floor tile and next one we are going to calculate the skirting tile quantity. You might have seen in every houses like where there is a floor tile there will be a small portion of tiles which is placed on the walls as well so that is called skirting so that quantity also we are going to calculate so total tile quantity and cost next one quantity and cost sand quantity and cost joint filler cost so between tiles between this tile and this tile there is a gap right so in between that we are going to use this joint filler material to fix the tiles and let's see how much is the cost for that and labor cost finally labor cost so these are all the things which we are going to discuss in this video so first let's start with the floor tile quantity size of the tile is two feet by two feet so that means it is a square tile two feet by two feet size of one tile so next we are going to calculate the area of the room area of the room is 10 feet by 10 feet which is 100 square feet number of tiles is equal to area of the room divided by area of one tile so this is the formula to calculate the number of tiles required area of the room we know 100 square feet area of one tile is 2 feet by 2 feet so if we divide that one number of tiles we get as 25 numbers so 25 numbers of 2 feet by 2 feet tiles are required to fill the 10 feet by 10 feet room floor next let's calculate the skirting tile quantity as i told you before this is the skirting tile so the thickness of the skirting is 4 inches usually we provide 4 inch thickness of skirting all around the room so why do we need to provide this skirting is like it it looks aesthetically good it it connect the floor tile to the wall this is the skirting tile which is a four inch thickness and it connects the floor and the wall we provide this one to protect the beauty of bottom of the wall when we clean the floor there are chances to get the dirt at the bottom of the wall so to avoid that one we are providing this skirting tile we usually damage the bottom of the wall while placing the furniture against the wall so to protect that one also we provide this skirting tile size of the tile is 2 feet by 4 inches this size is 2 feet and height is 4 inches next we need to calculate the area to calculate the area we need to know the total length of the skirting so here 37 feet is the total length of the skirting how do we get this one we have 10 feet 10 feet and this side also it is 10 feet total 30 feet we have and this side we have a door opening so we need to deduct this door opening from this side 10 feet only 7 feet we get this side so totally 30 feet plus 7 feet we get 37 feet as a total length of the skirting and 4 inch is the height so here I am converting inches to feet which is 4 by 12 so we get the area of skirting is 12.33 square feet now we know the area next we need to calculate the number of pieces per tile we know the one tile size is two feet by two feet so from that one tile how many pieces we can get for skirting tile so that we need to calculate how do we calculate that one we know that size of tile is two feet skirting height is four inches 2 feet by 4 inches so we can uh, convert this one into inches as well so 2 feet is 24 inches divided by 4 inches so we get 6 numbers 
so from one piece of tile we get six pieces six skirting pieces see this is one piece of skirting tile that is two feet length and four inches height we have this is the one piece of tile whole piece of tile which is two feet by two feet size so from this we get one two three four five six pieces we can get if we divide this one into four inches four inches we get six pieces so in this way we can calculate the number of pieces per tile next let's calculate number of pieces for all side this all around the room how many number of pieces are required for skirting so we know the length total length is 37 feet and length of one tile is 2 feet so we get 18.5 numbers we need 18.5 numbers of this size like this piece skirting piece tile 18.5 numbers we need required to place all around the room so now we know how many number of pieces we get from one tile one whole tile that is if we divide the one whole tile two feet by two feet tile we get six pieces like one two three four five six so we won't get this piece tile from the shop so we need to get this tile this whole tile two feet by two feet tile and we need to cut it into pieces four inch four inch pieces we need to cut so if we cut that one we get six pieces and overall we require 18.5 numbers we need to buy the two feet by two feet tile and we need to cut that one into the required number of pieces we need totally 18.5 numbers now let's see how many number of tiles required number of tiles of 2 feet by 2 feet size required so we know total size 18.5 numbers we know and 6 numbers if we cut one tile into 4 inch spacing we get 6 number of pieces so 18.5 divided by 6 that means we get 3 numbers so overall we need to buy 3 number let's see the total summary of the tile quantity floor tile quantity is 100 square feet skirting tile quantity is 12.33 square feet total is 112.33 square feet we can add 3 percent of wastages because while placing the tiles we may get damages or while cutting the tiles also even we get damages to avoid that one we can add 3 percent of wastages 112.33 multiplied by 3 percent we get 3 3 square feet extra so total tile quantity in square feet is 115.69 square feet so numbers also we can uh, add total tile quantity floor tile quantity is 25 numbers skirting tile quantity is 3.08 numbers in this also we can add 3 percentage of wastages so total tile quantity in numbers is 29 numbers next let's go for the cement and sand quantity so for that we need to calculate the volume of mortar so let's consider the thickness thickness of mortar is 2 inches usually we can provide between 1 inch to 2 inch thickness mix ratio is 1 is to 5 we can provide 1 is to 3 to 1 is to 6 according to your rubbish even uh, you can if you want more rich mortar you can provide 1 is to 3 1 is to 4 here I have taken as 1 is to 5 that is one part of cement and five part of sand so first let's calculate the wet volume wet volume is equal to floor area into thickness of mortar we know the floor area that is 10 feet by 10 feet and thickness of mortar is 2 inches so here i have converted into feet so that we can get the wet volume in cubic feet that is 16.66 we can round it off into 17 cubic feet next we need to calculate the dry volume since we are going to buy all the material raw material as a dry material we need to calculate the dry volume dry volume is equal to wet volume multiplied by 1.33 now what is this 1.3 1.33 is the dry volume factor the volume of mortar is reduced by 33 percentage after adding the water so that is why we are multiplying the wet volume with the dry volume factor dry volume is equal to wet volume multiplied by dry volume factor so we get 22.61 cft as a dry volume mix ratio is 1 is to 5 so total ratio which is cement plus sand that is 1 uh, 1 plus 5 is 6 so this is the total ratio now we need to calculate the quantity of cement volume of cement is equal to ratio of cement divided by total ratio multiplied by dry volume so we know the ratio of cement which is one part one is the ratio of cement divided by total ratio total ratio is six and dry volume is 22.61 cf so we get 3.76 cft as a cement quantity next number of bags we need to calculate number of bags of cement 
that is volume of cement divided by volume of one bag of cement we know that volume of one bag is equal to 1.25 cft this is the conversion factor so number of bags is equal to 3.76 which is the volume of cement which we had calculated divided by 1.25 so we get three bags three bags of cement so along with that we can add 20 percent of extra cement as a aggressive material so three bags we required from that we can add 20% which is 0.6 bags so total cement quantity is 3.6 bags next let's calculate the quantity of sand for 10 feet by 10 feet room floor tiles volume of sand is equal to 5 is the ratio of sand divided by total ratio multiplied by dry volume so we get 18.84 cft as the quantity of sand total tile quantity is 115.69 square feet total cement quantity is 3.6 bags sand quantity is 18.84 CFT. So this is the overall quantity of the material. Let's do the cost estimation now. First one is tile. Tile quantity is 115.69 square feet. So I took 40 rupees per square feet rate. So this may vary according to the tile whichever you are choosing. So the cost is 4627 rupees. Next one is cement. 4 bags of cement we required. So I am taking the price of cement is 380 rupees per bag. So this may vary according to your place. So we get the cost is 1520 rupees. Next one is sand. The total quantity is 19 cubic feet. I am taking 45 rupees per CFT. So that comes around 855 rupees. Next one is joint filler. This is very very important. This is the filler material which we use in between tiles. So joint filler I am taking as 1 kg. 1 kg is not required but uh, the whole number I am taking. The price is 50 rupees per kg. So we get 50 rupees. And next one is labor cost. Labor cost is to lay the 115.69 square feet of floor tiles. I am taking as 20 rupees per square feet. It may vary according to your place from 15 rupees to 20 rupees. So the cost comes around 2313 rupees. So we got all the cost. The total cost is rupees 9,365. So to fix the 10 feet by 10 feet room floor tiles including skirting we required 9,365 rupees. Here we have not considered the mortar uh, for uh, skirting tile because wall plastering itself the mortar is there no so we can place on that one itself. So, I'm, so that is why we have not considered mortar uh, quantity for skirting tiles. So approximately you can say around 10,000 rupees we may require to fix the door tiles for 10 by 10 feet room. So friends, I hope you all like this video. Please do comment in the comment box. Your comments are always welcome. And don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos. If you want more quantity estimation like this, please do comment in the comment box so that I can post the video on the same. Thank you for watching.